Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of VR Corner. And oh boy, do I have a treat for you today, because as you can see, I'm sat up top of the library that features in the video game Moss, because I'm about to check out the video game Glass Breakers Champions of Moss, which is currently playable in uh, early access form on the App Lab. But I'm not going to be playing it by myself because I'm also joined by Barton Slade from Polyarch, who is the lead character designer on the game. Greetings, Barton. Thanks for joining me. Hey, how's it going, Ian? It's going good. I'm very excited. And I tell you what, I am loving this little area you lot have created. It's so detailed, just like, just like the original moss book games there's so much character and detail to this environment i love it yeah we're really really excited about it and um also really excited to be able to kind of expand out on the library and introduce players to this new area which yeah. um we're calling the attic right i i do you know what i've never when i played moss i never looked up and behind myself so i didn't know if there was an attic up here or not but you know i can kind of see down the bottom there where yeah. uh where the reader sits, I think that's it down there. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you can see the books laid out there yeah. and, and, and the little candle set up uh, that we had in Moss as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, I've got, I've got a bird's eye view. Um, but yes, we are not here to talk about Moss book one or book two. We're here to talk about Glass Breakers. So, um, yeah, can you give us a little overview of Glass Breakers? What is it? Yeah, so it is our uh, 1v1. Um, we're kind of calling it a real-time battler. Um, it, it fits into this weird kind of new area um, where we have like a, a hex grid, which you would normally associate with something that's uh, turn-based. But yeah. in our case, we're real-time. And um, we've kind of got some elements in here that are uh, familiar to MOBA players. You know, you've got a, a squad, but in this case, instead of controlling Tiger. just one uh, character, you've got a squad of three under your control, and right. um, we we kind of think of this as if you took like a, a standard MOBA character and instead of uh, and, and just kind of split it into three. So each each character has its own one ability instead of multiple. Um, they still level up during the match, but um, kind of your squad is is uh, you know representative of what your build might look like for a character in a MOBA. Right. So what I'm doing at the moment, actually, is I'm leaning in and I'm picking up um, the three base characters that have the, th the champions. Uh, so at the moment, I've got there's Gwendolyn, Brel, and I've just <laughs> I've just dropped. Uh, there we go. Naji. So uh, these are the three characters I've got in front of me, and they are so detailed, just like Quill from Moss. They've full of detail and personality this this was your job right creating these characters uh so i'm i'm the lead designer on the characters uh, on okay. the champions so um you know i design out the um the abilities and their behaviors um uh, and then work with the uh character team the animation team and the art team to you know bring them to life i see i see i love this who's this one gwendolyn the uh the guinea pig in the uh suit of armor yeah, she's she's great. She's definitely like our, our biggest champ uh, and, and a, a big protector. That's also something really cool is, you know, uh, similar to Quill, they all kind of have backstories to explore. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we have a, a, a character in the attic with you. Um, you know, previously we had the, the librarian, but um, in this case we, uh, oh, sorry, previously we had the narrator. Right. Um, but in this case, now we have we have the librarian, and the librarian, you know, has access to all the books in the right. library, so Sweet. can read all of the stories, and she'll comment, um, you know, on some of the backstories and give hints as you're hanging out in the lobby, or the right. that. Well, these three characters here, they aren't the only three characters in the game, the, the champions that you can control. Because looking to my left, I'm just spinning a wheel now, which has a bunch of different characters on. Uh, they all have some. Uh, currency next to them which suggests this is a, a bit of a live service game could you explain how uh, how this is going to work how getting new characters new champions will work yeah so it is definitely a live service game and uh, also it is free to play so um, we have a few different kinds of currencies if you kind of look up to your right you'll see there's three listed there up at the top and um, oh, yeah. 
from the top down, we have our gems, which is our kind of premium currency, um, which you can purchase or earn through our um, weekly chess rewards. Um, and then we have dust, which, uh, you know, if you're familiar with moss, straight out of moss. Um, I smashed so many boxes for those dusts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be giving, that's that's kind of our, our free currency. So we, we give that uh -huh. away um, through playing match or through um, leveling up your champions, their mastery level, uh, mm -hmm. which you kind of see underneath each of the champions there. And you earn that through, through playing matches. And then similarly, um, you'll get that through your weekly chest reward. Um, and then also uh, through our season pass uh, rewards uh, as well. Right. Um, and then that, that bottom one, that is our mastery tokens. And those are earned each time a champion levels up their mastery level, um, which they gain experience for, for participating in matches. Um, and you can use that currency specifically to purchase cosmetics um, and for champions. And that, that can be used on, on any champion. So you can you know level up if you have a, a low level one that's easier to level up, but you're not really interested in cosmetics, you can level that one up and use those cosmetics on other champions. Ah, okay. Well, that's that's super interesting. Um, I've got some money to spend, though. Can you suggest something for me to buy? Perhaps a new character? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we've got two really, uh, two of my favorite champions here. Um, so if you look around on the, on the um, spindle there, we've got mm. a little little uh, hamster looking fellow who's got a um, kind of a priestly outfit on and uh, that oh, is Reese. Yeah. That's our that's our healer. Um, oh, really yeah. uh, powerful addition to a team. So that that would be a high recommendation from me for one of your first champs. Super cute. <laughs> yeah. And then um, for another one, uh, if you keep spinning, you'll see our, okay. our wizard. And yep. you might look familiar from uh, Moss Book 2. That is uh, Bernard, um, the, the oh, King's Mage. Yeah. Um, and he's he's got a, a really powerful uh, area of effect ability that he uses. Um, and so he's another great addition to the team. Right. Um, it's definitely the probably the top two for me to pick as, as some of my first champions. We also have, I, I don't think we've unlocked him yet, um, the... Uh, He's like a really strong looking knight with a big sword on his back or over his shoulder. I see him. He's kind of wearing like evil armor, got horns yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's a, a torch knight. That's um, Vendrix. And he, if you, if you purchase the season pass, you'll get Vendrix. But um, so I don't necessarily recommend purchasing him uh, separately because um, the season pass has a bunch of great rewards, but um, he's also a really powerful addition. He's another, I think he's our second um, kind of health champ. Uh, so yeah. he's going to have higher health than the other ones and be kind of your more forward attacker. He does. Um, he's also cool. got a he's got a really cool ability where he he turns into a, a whirlwind of fire and and spins around the map, um, damaging anybody who's who's adjacent to him. <laughs> awesome. And the final one that I've got on here is Chetleaf. Is that Leaf? oh yes, Chetleaf? Is that Chet Leaf? Yeah, Chetleaf. yeah, and. He, He's, he's one of the sprites, um, which you might look familiar to you as well. He's he's a cool knight. Um, he's He's got um, a really cool ability where he, he lunges forward and um, as he levels up, he'll be able to also apply a stun to enemies that he hits. So he's a great um, person to come in, kind of interrupt enemy movement. And then also uh, he can counter Vendrix. Uh, when Vendrix goes into his whirlwind, Chet Leaf can come in and stop him in, in his tracks and, and totally shut that down. Oh, right. So each champion um, is like stronger against another certain champion and, and weaker uh, not against necessarily, others, perhaps? Not necessarily. Um, we wanted to make sure that there are ways to, to counter your opponent um, and that, you know, certain things will, will stop other, other uh, champions from doing stuff. But overall, I don't think we have any specific like, uh, you know, rock, paper, scissors kind of plays going between the two of them. Right, right. OK. Um, so I have noticed that each one of these costs 6,000 dust and I only have 5,000 dust. So I'm not going to be able to buy one of these, I don't think. Uh, you should uh, be able to use your gems. They do also oh. cost 600 gems. Oh, oh, you see, it's a good job you're here because <laughs> I thought it cost both 6,000 and 600 gems. So uh, I think we just—it's one or the other, right? 
Yeah, See, I think we're I... submitting a, in our patch right now and or <laughs> to put between us two. We, uh, you need to because, you know, not everyone's as com easily confused as me, but there are a few <laughs> of us out there. So who would you suggest I buy then or should I? Uh, you know, I, I think uh, it... I would say probably Reese or uh, the healer or uh, Bernard, um, the the mage, are probably the two easiest champs to use for for beginners. I'm gonna buy Reese just because Reese is super cute. He is so cute, and his okay. animations are fantastic. Well, I've put yeah, here we go. So I've I've put Reese on the pedestal now. Five thousand. Uh, the, the dust is redded out, but I can buy with the gems. Yeah, so if you just grab one of those and just oh, yeah. put it on the on the pedestal there in the center. Um, oh, one of the uh, things that is really important to us is making sure everything's kind of tactile and has some kind of in-world representation. So we really want to, you know, add that, you know, to, to even purchasing using currency, right? Yeah, that was nice. I was picking things up and putting them around on pedestals and stuff. And now Reese has woken up. He's looking at me while I move around. <laughs> Super adorable. That is really adorable. Um, all right, well, we've uh, we've bought a new champion, um, but I can only have three champions, right? So I need to I need yep. to swap Reese with one of these. Um, Reese yes, is a the healer, first hard right? decision. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I, maybe I should. I, I'm gonna. I'm sorry, Nadji. I'm gonna get rid of Nadji. I think. I think uh, that's a solid choice because then I keep. I think Brel is probably ranged. Yeah, yeah, Brel's yeah. actually. He's uh, our only range three champion, so he he's a good um, you know uh, long range seizure in Sweet. a lot of cases, um, and also his ability can fire um, up to four units away from him, so yeah. he can actually attack towers um, or uh, relics from outside of their range. Sweet, and the uh, I'm keeping Gwendolyn because I normally play tank in these kind of games. Yeah, I mean, it's a solid choice. I feel like, you know, there's certainly people who, who don't play with one, but I, I pretty much always have a healthy champion in there to make sure that I have somebody to throw in first when they're going in to assault the enemy base. Right. Okay, well, look at them looking at me. Ah, cute. Um, it's not just characters, uh, uh, champions. No, and I was right? actually just, just going to get into that. Um, so yeah, actually, if there's well, before we move on to the other stuff, if you want to pick up one of your champs, oh, and sure. you'll see yeah. um, there's a, a big uh, pedestal to your right, um, and you can place your champ on there, um, there we go. and you'll see a whole bunch Ooh. of fun dies show up. Oh my! Oh, there are okay. Yeah, and um, you should have enough to grab one of those, or I think maybe even enough to unify your team if you want. Yeah. Um, um, oh, that's a, a lot of choice. Well, I'm going to grab this red one with some purple wings on it. I'll put that in the center and buy it with a few crystals. Purchase. Yes, please. Okay, now I've purchased it. Um, what do I do? do I... You can grab oh, that and just put it on the, the champion on the pedestal. There we go. Oh, nice. Now i got a red riding hood. <laughs> Nice, nice. There we go. Yeah, yeah, and so, um, and I, and then if you, you'll see there are actually two buttons underneath that pedestal. Um, oh yeah. One with a little armor. If you click on that mm -hmm. armor one, um, mm. that'll open up into uh, our skins as well. Um, so we're gonna offer. Uh, we'll have some available for purchase through mastery tokens, and then we're gonna have uh, others that'll show up in the season pass track as you move through that. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, um, so that's the cosmetic side of things. If you want to uh, move that champ back to the squad select, uh, then we can look okay. at some of our other cosmetics. They are back. Sweet. Um, so if you look below you, uh, you'll see there's a style button. Um, and if you go ahead and click on that. Done. Oh, wow. Okay, the whole table's... Hey, it's me! Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Give yourself a little wave. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, so this is this is our uh, player customization. You know, similar to Moss, you are actually in-game. And okay. so naturally, we want you to express yourself as much as possible. So we've given mm. um, a bunch of customization options for you in particular. And those are off on your left. You'll see a, another spindle full of mask options. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there they are. There are, wow, there are a lot of cool masks. How much... 
I kind of want to buy the most expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, don't spend all your money yet because we've still got okay. other cosmetics. <laughs> it does. I just put I just put it on to test it, and it's pretty goddamn awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you Ooh. can. See, I thought it just changed the mask, but it changes kind of like you're into. I could be a ram. Yes. <laughs> Huge. Yes. Thing. Okay. Well, maybe. Wow. There's. All right. Well, before I start spending money, um, I, the other stuff looks like it's on the right hand side. Let's. That is correct. Let's check those yeah. out. Yeah. And so these are going to be your um, banners and mm -hmm. emblems uh, that we uh, show during uh, during the match, during the pre-match, and this is kind of. You know, um, so one of the major differences here with Glassbreakers from Moss is that um, in, in Moss, you were kind of Quill's protector, right? right. And, and so, um, you know, you're making sure that she can make it through everything. Um, in this game, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of, you can't really be a protector, right? So we're thinking of it more as like, this is your, this is your team, like a sports team. And so these emblems and banners, these are, you know, your, your sports team logo, your colors, um, right. and all that stuff. So, and these will be, uh, you know, we'll reward these through uh, weekly chess, uh, through the season pass track as well, and then obviously through purchase with uh, mastery tokens and uh, our gems as well. Okay. Well, and you well, can see there's two buttons there. We've got one for the banners oh, yeah. and then one for the emblems. Lots of okay, cool so that's emblems. the banners and then the emblems kind of how oh, the emblems sit on the banner okay right let's do a quick let's, what's that one i'm gonna go for to match my new hood on brel is it brel yep yeah to match my new red hood on brel i'm gonna have the red banner um yes. So I'm gonna purchase that, and then ready to face off. I'm gonna what what icon? Oh, I'll have the little the little paw. Get some get some beans in there. Boop. Nice. There we go. All right. That's my banner sorted, and that has left me with uh, 1,425 of the Sounds crystals. Like enough. To get so, the one you want. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yeah. Let me just do this. Is there anything else to buy before I blow my cash? <laughs> uh, no, that that is everything cool. besides the season pass. Sweet. But, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, look, wow. I'm shopping posh now. Look at me. Quite becoming. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm there excited we... to see it. Okay, there we go. And yeah, because uh, we're going to be playing a game together uh, soon. And yeah, we'll see... You'll see what I have uh, dressed myself up as, what, what I've customized myself as, and I'll see what you've customized yourself as. Yep, yep, oh, yeah, exactly. Awesome. And uh, and then I do have one more thing to show you in the attic as well. Okay. Um, if you, there's one last button, well, there's two buttons, but we're not going to go into the learn stuff. Uh, so if you click on the, the progress button down there, yep. um, that will take you into our um, kind of, what you would expect from a traditional live service. Uh, we have um, daily quests uh, to be completed with a um, weekly chest below that unlocks every Thursday. And, okay. Yeah. Uh, depending on how much, how much, how many CP you've earned from completing daily quests, will level mm -hmm. up your chest and reward you based on the uh, chest level that you've achieved for that week. Right. Um, so do all the quests, get the better chests. Yep, exactly. That's a little rhyme for you there. You can use that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, and uh, you'll see also the award um, SP, and that's going to be season progress. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. And so if you look on your right, this is our uh, season pa pass rewards track. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a free track as well as the paid track. Um, obviously, oh, yeah. paid track is going to have some, some other interesting rewards in it. Paid. Yep, free, paid, free. Yep, cool. Yeah, and you'll see we, we you know, we start start you off with uh, Vendrix unlocking, and then um, since you're interested in Brel, there is quickly a uh, Brel skin available as well. And then that oh, yes. um, that one at the top of the pedestal there, that's our uh, if you complete Ooh. the season pass and have paid for it, we will give you um, that skin for Vendrix. Wow, that is a cool skin. 
Yeah, it's pretty badass. <laughs> oh, and look at that, that red mask. Ooh. Yeah, lots of good stuff in there. All right, so plenty to unlock and plenty, yes. to, pl plenty to buy as well. That's Yeah, cool. and we'll be, you know, releasing new content um, with each season as we yeah. go. So lots of okay. lots of fun stuff coming. All right. Well, um, I'm all dressed up and ready to play, I think. Excellent. All right. Well, um, so we're going to play a private match rather mm -hmm. than going into the general matchmaking. Um, so if you go back into that play button and uh, go to the squad select, you'll see we have two crystals in front of you, uh, private and match. And just go ahead and pick up that private crystal. Okie dokie. And it put is it on, on the, the pedestal. Uh, cool. Here we are. Oi! Oh, wow! Look at this arena we're in. Yeah. I know all the yeah. action is going to be taking place on this table, but that is a, a very beautiful little um, arena we're in. Yeah, um, and you'll see some familiar sights as well uh, yeah. mixed in there. Yeah, it really does fit in with the, the, the style of, you know, the uh, Moss Books 1 and 2, which mm -hmm. makes me wonder why um, you've decided to set a real-time strategy game in the Moss universe. Um, so, interesting story there. Um, and if you want to get started kind of trying to capture some stuff, uh, before I get into that story, since we're under, under time <laughs> for the match, but I will talk about that in just a moment. Um, we've got some, some uh, capture points around the map that you can go and grab um, that will give you kind of... Uh, uh, our equivalent of, of gear um, to assign to uh, different champions to like kind of make specific builds for them. Okay. Um, and so you can see like we have contested points. You can, you can put multiple champions in those. Um, and anyway, so uh, back to that question. Um, uh, so Actually, when when Polyarch started, we had we had two prototypes. We had a um, uh, one that was a, a, a platformer um, starring yeah. a, a mouse or a, a mouse, and uh, the other was a actually a turn-based um, kind of tabletop experience for um, for VR because we felt like you know if anything's asking for for a tabletop style game it, it is vr right yeah um so so we actually built uh glass breakers at that point and built a, a very early prototype and and um kind of ended up developing moss first and as we revisited this um we we found that uh oh hey it turns out um you know turn based doesn't work quite as well we found mm -hmm. uh than, than doing it in real time. Um, so we ended up switching over to a, a real time kind of style, which is uh, unique in the in the fact that it's a hex grid. Um, hold on, I'm gonna take this, take this out. <laughs> it's unique <laughs> it's that it, it has, a, has a hex grid. Um, <laughs> but we found, you know, in, in VR, uh, you know, downtime doesn't feel that great and and you also run into issues with um match length if you're if you're waiting for your opponent to take turns right um and we really wanted to slim this down to be um uh, an experience that um kind of gets people back in the headsets you know and and isn't a, a big burden for them to drop in for a few minutes if they want yeah. um rather than you know having to commit to uh kind of your standard moba uh, length of match, which, you know, can be 45 minutes, um, 30 to 45 minutes, um, which is a long time in VR. Yeah, um, it's, uh, doing a, a game like this in real time, um, it felt weird at first when I was doing the, uh, the tutorials, but, um, it kind of works. Yeah, and we've got some really neat, um, kind of quality of life stuff here that you can only really do in VR, like, um, if you if you grab one of your characters and throw your hand over your shoulder, um, that'll make them retreat back to base. Oh, yeah. um, and then if you kind of throw your hand over your shoulder and just and just click the button, uh, the tr uh, trigger button, it will pull all of your champions back to base. Oh um, yeah, there they go. 
And then we've got one more that if you reach over one more time, pull the trigger and then pull back in front of you, you'll see uh, you can actually order all your champions. Oh, I'm leaving him as a squad. Nice. Yeah. And that, that those gestures end up feeling really natural um, mm. and intuitive, I think. Um, so it's, it's you know, our, our methodology of kind of making it, you know, for VR and, and doing something a little bit different. Um, than I think most games do. Yeah. Now, what I probably should have done before we started <laughs> doing this, uh, because I, I'm kind of familiar with this because I played the tutorial, is uh, get you to describe or, or, or tell tell my viewers what what the aim of the game is here. What are we doing? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We've just kind of been uh, team fighting a little bit here, kind yeah. of aimlessly. But um, the, the end goal of the match is going to be to uh, destroy this uh, crystal that I've got in front of me right here. Uh -huh. And you see it's got a big old bubble around it. And that's yeah. because in order to, to actually deal damage to it, you have to destroy one of these two other crystals that are in front. Um, so, and you like see... Uh, doing now. Yeah, and you see <laughs> she, she's getting shot by that, that crystal as well. Oh, yeah. Um, so they, they will, you know, um, protect themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, kind of a neat wrinkle with this is is they only attack the first champion that moves into their their line of sight. So okay. you can really pick and choose who's going to be taking that um, that damage from the from the relic. Yeah. So you, uh, I'd probably send in Gwendolyn to soak up the damage and not someone else. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and she has a soak. her ability is really good at that too. She she puts out a a big aura around her that redirects a percentage of the damage that her allies who are within that aura are taking so she can soak up even more damage um right. she also as she levels up actually this is something to point out too as they level up you'll see we've got these kind of pips uh, above their um that roman numeral there yeah um uh, that is the champion level um so as they fight and gain experience they'll level up and then we have this roman numeral which is uh the um talent that level of the ability that they have so mm -hmm. uh with each level of the ability which comes every i think two normal levels um uh we give them some kind of a talent uh it could be passive it could be something that affects their ability but generally it changes the gameplay um so for example in the case of gwen she really uh you know exemplifies her ability because once she gets talents she not only redirects more damage, but she also gets a damage reduction buff. Um, so she just kind of really becomes this very tanky um, protector. Right. Okay. So, um, in terms of the 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 abilities, when this health bar is glowing yellow on the side, that means I'm able to launch, uh, activate the ability, right? That my character yep. has. That is one hundred percent correct. Yeah. So. I can do a potentially heal Gwendolyn there, and then Brel here has like a, a much more powerful long distance arrow. There we go. Yeah, perfect shot. And you yeah. can see, oh, I'm just getting smashed. <laughs> Get <Go> away! <laughs> Oop. I am gonna take that. Oh, relic. <laughs> what? Sorry. Oh, no, my relic. You, you cheating? You, you took it down while I was learning. <laughs> How could you? Well, talking about learning, actually, what's this thing over here on the left? This so this on is, the side. This is the sway stone, and this mm -hmm. is um, you know if if you're you know familiar with League uh, League of Legends, this is similar to the Baron uh, objective on the map. So right. the team that gets the last hit on this sway stone will get a um, buff that lets them deal more damage to the relics. Um, so it's it's pretty key. Uh, I definitely know some players don't necessarily go for it, um, but uh, you know it's certainly part of my strategy to grab this because you end up doing a lot of damage, uh, extra yeah. damage to the top powers, uh, the relics. And um, the other thing is, is because it's the last hit, somebody mm -hmm. can easily come in and steal that. Um, I shouldn't say easily. They can come in and steal that. <laughs> uh, it's not necessarily easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, there's 30 seconds left on the clock, so I'm going to let you go. I'll let you take out my crystal so we can see what that looks like. And then sure. I demand a rematch. <laughs> yes, I am very <laughs> down for a rematch. 
Oh, these guys are these guys are attacking you. I'm leaving that light. Yeah, and and without that uh, sway stone that I got, I would mm -hmm. be doing significantly less damage. Right. And would you? I presume you'd be doing even more if you took out both sway, uh, both the uh, no no corner stones, or you only have to take out one. Just need to take out one. Um, right. uh, and and if we ended up in a you know tie situation, mm -hmm. uh, we do go into overtime. Um, Right. And uh, and at that point, it's it's uh, sort of sudden death, but uh, and actually, there's a patch incoming um, to kind of change up that overtime rules a little bit. So I don't want to speak too much to it yet. Um, no but worries. the current implementation is uh, first one to destroy a crystal at that point uh, wins sure. the match. I have leveled up though, I uh, um, and I've done a little tiny bit of one of my dailies. I've got one gear scroll. Out of ten so far. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see, you get some mastery levels, and you'll gain mm. some mastery tokens for that. And you should also get some um, some dust rewarded for. Um, oh yeah, three hundred well. dust there. I got. Yeah, and, so you'll uh, get. Oh, yeah, I've got my three token, my mastery tokens there as well. Yeah. Yep, and so we'll award you a hundred dust each time you uh, level up one of their masteries, and then also give you a mastery token for that. Cool. Oh, I've just noticed Reese's card. That's even cuter than Reese. <laughs> the little illustration. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The heart and the the rainbow kind of light. Oh gosh, I, I love those. All right, may the best rodent win. Ah uh, yeah, let's go. Um, and we'll, you'll see, we've got, I'm going to just give you some, some pointers here as we okay. go. <laughs> um, usually pretty strong opening move, uh, is to go after one of these, uh, capture points. Um, okay. So we've got in the center. The sway is in play. All right. So, oh, I see that's capturing by filling up the, there we go. And then I can grab a little scroll. That's another one of my challenges. Yes. Done. <laughs> Some retreating oh, on the go. Take that out. I'm running away as well. See you later. Ow! You shot Prell in the back. How could you? <laughs> All right. No, well, no, no. Here's your that's my crystal. <laughs> I'm taking down these. <laughs> there will be no healers here. Oh no! Oh, oh I got that. it too. You got it. Oh no. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> so it's the person who does the last hit, basically, on that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, and my characters uh, are back. So, uh, Naji is kind of a tank killer. Uh, oh, and also just gets wasted. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, but yeah, Naji's got. Um, an ability that lets him knock out champions when they're at, uh, I think, 20% health. Right, okay. Um, so he's pretty pretty mean. And also, you've got this um, gear spot here on your side that is totally capturable. Oh, uh, this way. one here. Oops, I just yeah. uh, sent my, uh, oh, no. set my ability off by accident. Oopsie. Ouch. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh no! <laughs> oh, well. Let's go this way. Come on, we can flank you. We're out flanking you. No way. <laughs> uh oh. I'm not sure two against three is going to work too well, but I'm doing a little bit of damage on your turret. Yeah, you might want to get out of there though. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, Gwendolyn. Taking <laughs> it for the team. <laughs> okay, got another scroll. I'm sorry, I have to counter that. <laughs> Fire! Ooh, but, oh, that's that big spinny special you were talking about. Yeah, Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, that is a good special. Yeah, uh, it's a really nice uh, oh, AoE. Oh, and if, if, 
No, this is sorry. This is respawned now. The uh, crystal. So yep, you get a few chances. Yeah, it comes back. Um, and, oh, one other thing, and you don't have any dead champions, but one other thing I forgot to mention is when you do mm. have dead champions, you can actually lose their respawn point. Oh, right. Uh, okay. And um, one of the nice things about that is that if you respawn on top of a location, oh, no, I'm not sure. uh, on top <laughs> of a location where I have one of my champions, it'll move that champion out. So you can make some defensive plays with that. Right. Okay, a little bit of a healing done on Gwendolyn, and then let's do that, change the damage, uh, uh -oh. so oh yeah, I could, I'm moving the respawn point up to the right, yep, yeah, there we go, that works. Did you just capture it? No. No, <laughs> I just, I just died. It's nice <laughs> and uh, smooth. <laughs> Moving around's nice and smooth as well. Oh. Yeah, and you'll see he he will just get ripped to pieces if if uh, Reese goes in there. Yeah. Uh, without support. Oh, the other thing about Brel is his damage actually increases with that ability based on the distance traveled by ah. the projectile. Okay. Yeah, I close range shot you. But... It it can be it can be definitely useful. I've I've made some kills with the the point blank shot. Hmm. But he's he's really great, like for um, what I'm about to do. Which oh no, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> uh, well, what should have happened is he should have been able to hit the star. The no back there. Well, let's see how you deal against my mace. Oh, oh no, that's <laughs> run away! Hit the retreat button. <laughs> run, Gwendolyn, run. Uh, no. And and the other terrifying thing about Naji is if he successfully mm. knocks someone out, yeah, he will regain his entire ability charge. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty intimidating. Right yeah. So he's he's definitely one of those champs you gotta like. When you see that health bar getting low, but your mm -hmm. own health bar getting low, and he's nearby with the full charge, you better get out of there. Right. Just out of range. Ooh. That is a mean move. Run away! Oh. <gasps> Murdered by a crystal. Oh! Little hat fell off. Okay. Oh, you're, okay. Oh, you're distracted over there, huh? Come on, Gwendolyn. Ah, uh, yes. Put me in the back door. Yeah, and uh, increase my damage. Okay, spawn there. A little bit closer. I guess I totally, I, I, I skipped out on mentioning this too, but you can heal at your base. <laughs> Oh, maybe, I, I maybe that would have changed your tactic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tend to just run in and throw people to the meat grinder, to be honest, uh, in all, okay, in all okay. of these games. So, uh, sacrificing my army is uh, a good tactic of mine. <laughs> well, maybe it's not a good tactic. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if it's a good tactic. <laughs> <laughs> Mama needs vengeance. Oh yeah, I see the health bar going up there, yeah. I got 152. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so one of the, the things that, that you get in kind of MOBA matches that we wanted mm. to make sure and kind of replicate is that there's, there's like periods of some downtime. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got a nice kind of ebb and flow happening. Um, to because you know uh, like it, it could be a completely action-packed 10 minutes but uh, VR uh, sickness is totally a thing cognitive load is a thing and and, mm. and just doing too much too much at once for too long can cause yeah. some discomfort and it's really important for us to make sure that players are comfortable with that's fair oh look at that oh you got it yeah like you were distracted with your uh... Your side crystal thingy. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> uh, Swaystone. <laughs> Swaystone, that's it. 
This is this way. Right side crystal thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm coming. Oh no. Well, I'm kind of defenseless at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect time for you to come. Ah. Now I've realized the flaw in my plan. <laughs> but you can see one of the disadvantages of, of not taking out both crystals is, is Naji just getting wiped out. There. Yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, there you go. Really 30 seconds GG. to spare. Nice. GG. Wow, well, there you go. Oh, I love that little balancing on the bow stuff. Uh, victory pose there. <laughs> yeah, they've got some really great victory poses. Mm. Oh, I, <laughs> I I was so into that then. I didn't realize I'd span completely the wrong way around on my chair. So uh, <laughs> uh, no one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. Like, Where the hell's Ian gone? What's he looking at? <laughs> all right. Well, I've taken enough of a beating <laughs> today. Um, I'm going to have to go back and practice. But Barton, once I've had a bit of practice, I will be. I will be. Uh, Trying to trying to defeat you once again. I I, I will uh, challenge you to a rematch at some point in the future. I'm sure. Um, oh, please do! I would love to play again. <laughs> but before I let you go back to work, um, I I've got to ask finally, uh, when are people going to be able to play at uh, Glass Breakers Champions of Moss and and on what? Um, so they can actually play it right now. Um, it's available in the App Lab on um uh meta quest 2 mm -hmm. uh headsets and we have the uh, you have the ability as well to wishlist it on steam at the moment um we're not fully on steam yet but we do plan on on launching there for pc vr players um but right now quest 2 uh app lab is the place to get it awesome well thank you once again for uh telling me all about glass breakers and uh uh, putting me through my paces uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, viewers at home do give it a like and subscribe and uh, don't forget to come back every sunday for episodes of ian's vr corner uh, i'm just going to sit here now and squee over um oh where's he going oh i dropped him reese i'm just going to squee over reese for the next 20 seconds while you click on some of these other ian's vr corner videos they're on screen and clickable right now but uh, yeah thank you once again barton it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you and uh, i wish you all the best of luck with uh, developing the rest of the game thanks so much ian it's been really fun playing with you it has hi little reese hi squeak squeak <laughs>